entrance point to Bahia de Los Angeles from the south. All these islands to explore for a couple days. Only a couple knots of breeze, so if sails are down, we're just motoring in. Hey, Pelican. I saw Ray doing a backflip in front of the boat. Anybody knows why they do that, send in a comment. There's another one. I think they're trying to get uh, creatures off their backs. Because they seem to land on the black back. And they're doing it all over right here. Either that or it's feeding, I guess, huh? It's a lot drier and starker here. Approaching uh, Bahia de Los Angeles Village here. Looks like a whole town now. I was here in oh, 1984 with a windsurfer I got from my grandfather. College, freshman, spring break trip, some other people. We bounced over the road in here from Highway 1 and none of this development was here. It's like hundreds of houses now. Looks fairly high end. We're going to go anchor in the behind this point. It's super calm in there. See a couple of the cruising boats. We put the dinghy away and we're just going to use the paddle boards. Two people, it's super easy. So on the way into the LA Bay Anchorage, there's Raven's Wing now. It's all this uh, Catalina 27. Looks like on its trailer, ready to launch. So I thought we'd go check it out for you guys. This nice blue house. But upon closer inspection, right up my alley, it's just yard art. It's uh, like one third of a slice down Catalina. Check this thing out. Somebody did a great job. There's the standing rigging supports in the wall. They've got the masts with proper nav lights lit up at night, even a flashing strobe. Pretty great work. Judging by the scuff marks, this thing was probably in some trouble. I chopped it up and stuck it in the house. Oh, old CF numbers. Yeah, it's a California boat. Isn't that funny? So, nobody's here, but this... Looks like the beach house, the blue beach house. It's a decent little vacation rental. Look at the big roll up windows. Open air deal downstairs. And this is their view. Bahia de Los Angeles. We're gonna go out to these islands over here today. Spend a couple nights swimming around, looking at the undersea life. Let me know if anybody's been to the blue house before. Okay, back to Guillermo's. Hopefully to get some coffee and some internet. We're gonna take a little hike on a national park trail that goes from this landing on Isla Ventana. We're facing south right now. It's the opening to Bahia de Los Angeles, southern entrance anyway. And we've got a hiking trail here. Whale Canal is like 3,000 feet deep just off these islands out here. We'll sail that in two days. There we go. Nice little single track on the island. Scrambling up this little pitch here. It's pretty steep. Ouch. Get my leg on a cactus. Ouch. Oh boy.
Beautiful trees just trying to get any water they can. Oop, little detour here. Except for that steep little scramble back there. It's very nicely done. National Park Trail. It's about 5.30 p.m. Just cool enough finally to do this. That's a volcano you can climb. There's an anchorage right at the base of it. You see what they mean about that white guano rock out there yeah. in the guidebook? That's pretty obvious. All lit up. Listening with bird poo in the evening here. Dead cactus. Fish hook cactus. That's what we can see them. Why are they called fish hook? Too blown out to read. Sorry. Here we go. We've got this end of the island to ourselves. We anchored with the wind coming from the east. Here it's totally flat. There's like 80 feet of scope out. But uh, after the, this scene here, the wind picked up like crazy as we ate dinner. And it was coming from the west, blowing us right onto this beach. You see all the exposed rock. And with the 80 plus feet, we were putting the stern of the boat almost on the beach. We had to get out of there in a big hurry. Canal de Belenas, the Whale Canal between LaGuardia, the 42 mile long second biggest island in Sea Cortez, and Baja coastline. Back behind us is LA Bay. Calling, doing some light air sailing this morning. Getting a feel, the driving raven's wing. A little bit of a breeze finally picking up. He's got his jib tripping out. Got a little barber hauler on, pulling the clue out. Looks like the main strong. Find a little bit of backwinding down low. I don't feel like getting up and doing anything about it. I get to see the dagger board for the first time underway. Can you guys see it? See the black bottom 18 inches down there have bottom paint on them, on it. And then the gray part lives up inside the trunk at rest, not out of the water. The, uh, when we haul out, I gotta deal with the uh, flaking off paint on the aluminum struts. Try a different time around those. Oh, moving. Sia Cortez doing what she was built for. Well, on the Sia Cortez, the books say expect the unexpected with the wind, and they aren't kidding. We showed you just a, a little bit ago the totally mellow morning day sail, and not long after that, 
in, within like 10 minutes it went from nice 10 knots to full on 30 knot big chop crazy so colin got to experience his first fire drill on board with uh holy crap get the jib down get a, a reef in the main quickly we did all right uh did a heave two first accidentally then we kept it so we got our gaskets in it didn't quite get the back I didn't get the lazy jacks on in time, so that didn't help. But we sorted it out. But this whole big canal was a sea of white caps. Just, you know, goes crazy really fast here. And by the way, the predict wind forecast today, zero to five knots all day. Little tiny dot up there looks like a sailboat. They call it sloop rock, so it's like a fully rigged sloop. Uh, that's our waypoint. We're going to get around that. It's uh, nine more miles. Turn right into the refuge cove. The top end of this island is this nice big hook cove with a couple small islands, apparently numerous anchorages. And that's the jump off point. We'll leave Baja from there uh, in two days and head over to Sonora, Puerto Penasco. That 120 mile, 130 mile, whatever run from refuge cove over to the shore closest to Arizona. Raven's wing sorted out now, running downwind, seven to eight knots. Pelagic autopilot's driving just fine. We hand steered during the worst of that little microburst thing there. It's like a salt all over. The uh, forward hatch was in the vent position, so my bed got a soaking. You know, we'll be drying stuff out once we get anchored this afternoon. Life in the sea. Went from behind now. Okay, Carlos, here's some of that Cape Effect wind compression. This corner of the island here, squeezing everything down into it. Look what's going on right here. Mars does have water on it. It probably looks like this place. We have to go through that little pass right there. Now the current is just swirling like crazy in this little pass here. It's throwing the boat all over the place. You can anchor in there. That looks pretty inhospitable. Vila Division. Shooting right down the middle. Whoa, man. Knocking me off my feet here. Just throwing us around. Not a very welcoming land, looking land. Unless you're a pelican.
That actually looks like a nice safe anchorage right there. Here, did I finally catch one of the uh, back flips from the skates on film for you? called Generation M. He's on the ha, ha with us. Question is, where's the good snorkeling here? We're in this pass between the islands here. And look at Colin surfing this thing. It's deep ahead of the board. Let's see if I can drift back on it. And then you guys can see this like rock wall climbing up to where it's only two or three feet deep where he is. And he's actually stationary and surfing the wave. There's big fish hanging right off the edge eating whoever comes by. Look at that thing. I'm getting swept by current now. He's surfing the, the lip right there. Huh. Yeah, he's just riding the edge of this thing. What's he doing underwater? This is a little cove on Meha Island. The opening here goes to the southeast. Looks like a great little anchorage. You just have to be brave coming in because it's a narrow passage between big rocks and it looks like you can't make it, but it's actually wide enough. And this is the main passage between the islands that you come through. And there's a a chapel up there on top of the hill. Looks like a footpath, so we're gonna go have a look. So we just paddled from way over there. The boat's anchored. You can just see the arch rock way in the distance. So it's anchored to the right of that. Well, I think we paddled a couple miles across some current. We were surfing that thing. It was right in the passage over there. It was only like two feet deep. cactus forest. Oh, I left my shoes over there. Candle is still going. Great little shrine. Another boat coming in. Here in the refuge cove of uh, Lagarda, the big island, we're like 200 miles north of the snorkeling we showed you last time, off of uh, Santa Rosalia. And just note how different the sea floor is. This is just looks like lava rock and uh, doesn't have all of the rich plant life that the earlier snorkeling did. So it's a pretty different experience, but uh, interesting fish nonetheless.
using the upper and lower fins and keeping his tail totally still. Fun to watch. Chased him all over. are all milling around the entrance to that pass where we sailed through that big currents that were moving the boat all around. So clearly the sea life is full of nutrients and a lot of fun right here for these fish to get their dinners. So we enjoy checking out them, checking out their food source. was a total surprise, the only one we saw, and he led us to a, another tree. So watch the upper left right now for the turtle, upper left corner. Just barely caught it on film. wrapped up this snorkeling session and then made the long paddle back over to the anchorage and on our way we stopped at the arch rock nearby. A, a grotto, right? Is this what a grotto is? Smash the foam paddle board on these rocks. Oh yeah, these two. So high tide, this might be good for swimming through. Yeah. White rocks to the right of the arch is called Granite Island. Remember that for next time. That's where we're going to see the seals and sea lions. Glad you're here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Me too. September was a great time to explore Bahia Refugio or Refuge Bay here on Lagarda. You saw the first day here. Next time we'll pick it up with day two. See you then.